in my career, I've gotten to work on some really uh, important projects that we never figured out how to scale. I've also worked on lots of projects that really didn't matter, but they sold like crazy. I really wanted to find something that mattered and we could scale. Zipline is a delivery service. We deliver medical products by drone and we do it in the hardest reach places in the world. Basically where the paved road ends, we fly over the dirt roads and the lack of bridges. The basic model is simple. We have a distribution center. Uh, that distribution center is basically where all the zips, we, that's what we call our, our robotic aircraft, that's where they operate from. So orders come in, we pack the package, send the package out the window to our flight operators. Those flight operators have already pre-flighted one of our zips. They put the package in the zip and they launch it. Uh, and then that zip is flying automatically out to the delivery site where it'll drop the package from the air. It'll turn around, fly back and forget its next package. And so at any given time, we've got a bunch of planes in the air doing deliveries like this all day long. We are doing rapid development and we move very fast. I mean, we're a startup and we have limited resources, but Every decision we make is focused on the goal of having something that doesn't just work once, but can work a thousand times or 10,000 times. Speed to market is everything for us. You know, as a startup, you know, with a team like this, we're literally burning cash every week. We don't have something out in the world working. The other half of the market challenge is learning. You know, no one's done this before. There's no amount of engineers in a room thinking about a problem. They're going to think through everything. You have to get out into the world and you have to try things and you have to learn from that experience. Uh, and then you have to bring those learnings into your design and you better do it quickly or else someone else will watch what you're doing, learn from your mistakes. And if they do it quicker than you do, well, then you're done. For us, obviously, we don't want that to happen. We want to be able to iterate from our own experiences and really go from where we are today, which we think is good, to where we want to be so we can really scale and make something great. When I first started here, I was building the previous version of the vehicle, which was our Alpha. It, it really brought the product to market, um, but was not made for assemblability. Um, it took you know many man hours to get that drone assembled, and it was a you know a pain to maintain. The plane brings together many disciplines, right? Electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, manufacturing engineering, and then of course aero engineering. The amount of engineering that goes into sizing, right, one of those control surfaces like an aileron on the plane is huge with input from almost everybody I just mentioned. This new vehicle, uh, the big selling point of it is that the maintainability is, is just, you know, orders of magnitude better than the previous vehicle. If any piece of the vehicle, you know, needs maintenance or, or is damaged, you can swap it out and replace it in five minutes. I joined the company and we were using a cheaper CAD package. I really found it was difficult to use. It, it's hard to load the whole model because an airplane is pretty memory intensive. I really pushed hard to move the company to NX. The, the CAD for a plane like this is complicated. The shape of the outside of that plane is a very complex sort of surfacing problem. And all the details of that plane, you know, every screw, every bulkhead, every, you know, every interface for these modules we want to be able to swap easily is driven off of that complex surface or so reference to that surface. So if you want to tweak the surface over here, you need all these other parts that are very complex shapes to, to flow from that change in surface. And NX is very powerful for that. Something that you want to do with an aircraft like this is check that your part fits with the rest of the plane. In the previous CAD package, it would be a multi-hour ordeal. With NX, you know, you don't have to be worried about it. You just load it up and everything's fast and then you don't make mistakes. The actual manufacturing fixtures uh, that we use to assemble the drones, um, I use NX as well to, to take the CAD from the design engineers, um, use that you know, to 3D print things that make the assembly um, a whole lot easier for the technicians. We're doing something that that really does uh, help people and really does make people's lives better. I think the statistic that really hit home for me is the rate at which blood is not wasted anymore. So since we've been delivering, we've delivered a few thousand units of blood. I'm not sure the exact number, but literally three units have gone to waste out of those more than 2000 units of blood. That is a unheard of uh, sort of efficient utilization of blood. A mother who's bleeding after childbirth, if she has that unit of blood when she needs it, uh, you know, a doctor can save her life relatively easily. But if you don't have that unit of blood, it's, it's deadly. You know, in Rwanda, basically no units of blood expired. And that means they were all used, which is, that's, that's, a, that's transformational.